This week on Outdoor Junkies, we are heading over to Hankster's to pick up Jeremy's new Yamaha Viking. Then we'll be heading out for an early fall bow hunt. After that, we'll be taking a look at the Yamaha Wolverine and taking it for a test spin, junkie style. So we're back here at Hanksters again today, and um, I'm picking up my new UTV. I'm pumped. We did some upgrades to it too. What did we all put on, Hank? Jeremy had us outfit this thing from tip to tail. I don't think there's a single uh, another accessory we could have put on this thing, but full cab enclosure. It's the uh, hard doors, hard rear window, full full folding windshield. Uh, he had us throw in a heater for when it gets a little nippy outside. Uh, windshield wiper kit. Yeah, I think you're talking about us putting in a radio as well, yep. and uh, we're wiring it for a sprayer. Yep. For our food plots. Uh, I'm losing track. You added so much stuff. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> I but, can't uh, wait. This will be a sweet yeah, ride. Yeah. It's gonna be warm when I plow in the winter. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Snow plow too with a 3,500 pound worn winch. Hunting late season bow hunting. It's gonna have the doors on it, so I have the heater. So after you get out done with the hunt. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be warm. Yeah, it's gonna do everything you need it to do. I mean, I think you're gonna wonder how you went so long without this machine. To be honest with you. All right, let's check it out. All right, sounds great. So this is a uh, brand new Yamaha Viking 700 power steering camo edition. So right now we're in the middle of doing the, uh, of putting on all the accessories that Jeremy wanted. Uh, our master service technicians here are putting on the full cab enclosure, the window, the roof, the doors are gonna be going on here uh, any minute. Um, you can see that uh, he's got the heavy duty front bumper on the machine with the uh, 3,500 pound winch. Nice. Yep, so we got the, uh, Windshield wiper, which is gonna be going on right here uh, momentarily. You got the full fold and hard window, which is part of the cab enclosure. It's, like, it's gonna look way better uh, once it's all done. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. So you'll have this done in an hour, I can leave then? You know, it'll be done before you're <laughs> filming. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to get in and take it home, give it a ride. Outdoor Junkies is brought to you by I-90 Enterprises, Hangsters Motorsports, B-Fish and Tackle, Custom Jigs and Spins, and these fine sponsors. This has been a Stone Lake production. Outdoor Junkies is brought to you by I-90 Enterprises, Hangsters Motorsports, be fish and tackle, custom jigs and spins, and these fine sponsors. This has been a Stone Lake production. I-90 Enterprises is your one-stop shop for custom trailers, parts, and repair. Located off Interstate I-90 just outside of Edgerton, Wisconsin, our technicians can quickly diagnose the issues, make repairs, custom design your trailer to fit your needs, and get you back on the road. From trailer parts, maintenance, and accessories, if you have a job to do, I-90 Enterprises has a team to help you get it done. I-90 Enterprises, your benchmark for excellence. Hangsters Motorsports is your destination for the largest selection of ATVs, UTVs, snowmobiles, and motorcycles in southern Wisconsin. Conveniently located on Highway 51 between Janesville and Beloit, Hangsters Motorsports services all makes and models of anything power sports. Thanks to all of our customers, Hangsters Motorsports is now the fastest growing Yamaha dealer in the state of Wisconsin. To see all of our current specials and inventory, go to HangstersMotorsports.com. 
Cutest Auto Group is a proud sponsor of Outdoor Junkies TV. Shop over 4,000 new and pre-owned vehicles at our Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram locations in Platteville and Barneveld today, or visit us online at cunistcountry.com. In the midst of a global pandemic, one man has sacrificed it all for better ice fishing, Chekai Matten. He just makes jigs. Just make jigs, just make jigs, just make jigs. I got jigs. Nice, what are they called? Tootso. Introducing the Tootso, the latest tungsten creation from Custom Jigs and Spins. I love you like la 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 la. What's up junkies? It's the uh, weekend of the youth hunt. It's raining right now. Um, Jared and I are actually gonna go and try and sit out in the Zenic blind tonight. It's the only spot we can really go right now with this rain. We're gonna try and smoke one with a crossbow. It's gonna be tricky with this rain. Everything's gonna be soaking wet, so we're gonna have to put one heck of a hit on it and just hope to God that she goes down quick. We're gonna try and smoke a single doe or a good buck, whatever we see. Stay tuned. Looks like it's clearing up over there towards bears. I think we're gonna be all right. Let's go get Nate to June. <laughs> <laughs> all right, junkies, we're in the Yamaha and uh, we're this, gonna give her a whirl today. We're, this thing's perfect. It's got a nice and closed cap. We're dry. Yep. And uh, we're going out to do some bow hunting. Looks like the rain hopefully will slow down in about an hour or so, so by the time everything calms down, it should be just shooting time. And Yeah, let's see if we can make it through all this mud to get out where we're going. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got her locked in four-wheel drive. We're going to give her a whirl right now. Let's do this. Walk down this, so you never know. Don't be 
He's got the corner. He's got the corner. He's got the corner. Dang it. How big was he? Like a big eight? Oh, he's coming. Maybe. He's just walking the edge of the corner and blow up that lane. Blast. <laughs> Awesome to be done. He's gonna follow that same trail as that last buck. No. He's probably gonna go hit that freaking rub. Yep. He probably smells the trail. He's actually almost like the one I got last year, but bigger. I think he's very similar to the one you got last year. He's bigger though. Yeah. He's thicker. His body is huge. He's pretty. Mm -hmm. Nice big neck on him. He's fat. That's a nice deer. That's an eight pointer. <laughs> and there he goes. Let's slip up that lane now. This segment is brought to you by Hangsters Motorsports. Hangsters Motorsports is now the fastest growing Yamaha dealer in the state of Wisconsin. For more information, go to HangstersMotorsports.com.
Oops. Just filled me the freezer. Now it's perfect. It's a perfect time of year to take a doe. There's, there's a lot of them out here. And that one was by itself. I didn't see any little ones with it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's about a two and a half year old deer. And uh, just threaded the needle right through these trees. I couldn't believe that. But self filming, I noticed her right in front of me and I'm like, as soon as she went around the tree, I instantly grabbed onto the camera, spun it around. I just reloaded. She went right down through here and I heard her crash down in the bottom. So I'm sure we got an amazing blood trail and it had to have went right through her. That's awesome. I get bumped no matter what it is. All right, junkies, I'm back at the truck. Jer just came up with the uh, Yamaha Viking and we're gonna go cruise back in the woods here, try and get this doe. I already found the arrow on the way out, so I'm thinking she went about 60 yards and piled up, but this woods is notorious for coyotes, so we gotta get moving before they get on it. So let's go get her. Dude, those lights rock. You should be like right in there. Where you hit her? The stand right here. All right, so this is where. There's you... the arrow. There's blood right there. Oh yeah. And it shouldn't be too bad. I got a double out of the pass through on her, like right behind the shoulder. I mean, it's like I said, she didn't run far. She just went right down there and crashed somewhere. She might even be right there. So she headed off that way. Like that, quick as. Like right up through there. Well, we'll just follow the blood and find her. I'll put this one down the arrow. We got blood there, blood there, blood, blood, blood there. Blood. Thank you. Found her? Yep. Oh, hey. Probably. Nice though. Just I can't push you up that far. Right behind the shoulder. Season starting off good. Got a couple turkeys this spring and got my first doe of the year. On a roll. Hopefully I got one more doe tag and I've got a buck tag still for bowl season and then we got gun season coming up so. There's a lot of freezer filling gonna be happening this year, folks. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, she's not a bad doe at all. Just pregnant her. Yeah, probably even a three-year-old. Awesome. Well, Jer and I are gonna get this girl cleaned up and dragged out of here and loaded up into the wheeler and... Sweet. The season's starting off really good. Stay tuned for more junkies, folks.
Looking to stand out from your competitors and increase your brand awareness? Yeah, baby! Woo! Then advertise with Outdoor Junkies and reach your target audience. From new product reviews and product placement on our show, our team will enhance your marketing strategy and generate new clients. Oh, yeah! Contact us today at 262-607-6399 or check out our website at outdoorjunkies.tv and get your fix. This segment is brought to you by I-90 Enterprises, your benchmark for excellence. Hi everybody, I'm Hank from Hankster's Motorsports down here in Janesville, Wisconsin, right off Highway 51. Along with me here today is our Yamaha District Manager, Kyle. He's uh, here to help us kick off the brand spank new Yamaha Wolverine RMX 1000s. We just got in here this morning. Couldn't be happier to get these bad boys down here at the dealership. We just got done unloading the semi right now and we're in the shop. The guys are PDIing them and making sure that everything's uh, good and tight, plenty of gas for us to do some demos and test drives here shortly. What's going on everybody? My name is Kyle Shelton. I'm with Yamaha Motorport and we are here at Hankster's Motorsports with the man himself introducing the brand new Wolverine R-Max 1000. I have Hank with me here. Hey everybody. He, he's one of the first dealers in the state to get the R-Max and we're just here getting some initial impressions. Hank, you got a chance to drive it. What do you think? Oh man, I'm, I had a smile on my face from ear to ear when I was in this machine and I'll tell you what, it is a uh, blast to, to drive one of these. I can't wait to, to get one out and uh, get one on one of the, the local state trails myself and, and put it to work. But I'll tell you what, for for the few miles that we put on this uh, XTR right here, I'll tell you what, it is a hoot. You, the, the, the videos don't do it justice, the pictures don't do it justice. You have got to get down to Hanksters and take one of these for a spin yourself because the uh, videos do not do it justice. I can't say enough about how much fun it is to put the uh, pedal to the floor on one of these. Speaking of putting the pedal to the floor, these come with a brand new 999cc parallel twin motor. Tell me what you felt about the power delivery. How did it feel in comparison to some of the other side-by-sides that you've driven in the past? Man, I'll tell you what, it was, uh, it, being in this machine for the first 15 seconds, I could tell that this new R-Max 1000 brought something to the table that you are not gonna find with any of the other uh, competitor models. The, the power of the machine is outstanding, extremely smooth, extremely torquey, just some of the real uh, attention to detail that Yamaha put into these machines from the um, stitching in the seats to the soft touch points to um, just when you shut the door, it's almost like shutting the door on your pickup truck. I mean, it is a well-built attention to detail. For a UTV, I don't think you could get any better fit and finish out there. And I happened to see when you were driving around, uh, it was a pretty pretty gnarly track setup that you got around here. Looked like there were some pretty decent ruts and some hills that you were going over. How did the suspension feel? And we had probably a total of between the guys in the shop and from all different kinds of weights and situations and speeds and terrain, we put this new R-Max 1000 through. I don't think you could uh, ask for any better suspension. I'm confident that if we drove this machine off the roof of the building, we'd be in good shape still. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. I got a feeling that we gotta go. So I hope this feeling's good. I do too. That's, you know, you can't get them sitting on the couch. 